I think not being heard is another one. Um, like if you go to, let's say, your boss and you're like, I'm feeling very burned out. Like it was tough for me to even come to tell you this. I'm feeling very burned out. And your boss is like, well, it's just temporary. You know, just work past it. You'll get through it. Or, okay, we'll take the rest of the day off and, and you, you'll come back stronger tomorrow. Uh, it's important to note that burnout is not like a, like a 24-hour flu. You know, you're not going to get over it immediately. It is something that has built up gradually over time. A number of stressors compacting one on top of the other, which is why you got to the point where, where you are now. And you're going to have to dig yourself off of that cliff again. And it's going to take time. And not everybody has the luxury of being like, okay, well, I'm going to take two weeks off to just like decompress. That is not a, not a realistic thing for a vast majority of people who have bills to pay. So in that, in that respect from an engineering leadership side, if possible, somebody comes to you and like, look, I'm feeling very burned out. I'd work with them to rework their schedule to figure out what is going to work best for them. And part of that is recognizing how they work. So some people are good at give me, you know, I, I work very independently. So like, don't bother me, but I'm going to check in on you to see how you're doing. Just to just get a pulse check. You know, we currently have weekly one-on-one. So let's, let's, week, or let's meet maybe twice or three times this week just to see how you're doing. Let's look at the work you're doing. What is stressing you out in particular about this work, if anything? If so, let's see what we can do to alleviate some of that stress. Maybe we'll add another engineer onto this project to help you tag team. Maybe we'll swap projects. Maybe we'll have you focus on something that's a little bit more internal if you're working on something more customer facing that's, you know, that's involving talking with other people where you just aren't in the right mindset to be able to do that at this moment. So there are a number of things that you can do to approach how to, you know, as an engineering leader, I know this is not actually the question that you asked, but it kind of flowed right into it. So here we are. Uh, (laughs) There are a number of things you can do as an engineering leader to, to help your team through burnout. But I think the most important thing is to have empathy, you know? There, this is a very, the past two years have just been, you know, chaotic for everybody. And we're all trying to figure out how to best approach, you know, this next step, this next chapter of our lives, this next chapter of, you know, what the world currently looks like. Um, and in, you really need to be checking in with your teams. Like my one-on-ones, for example, we're not talking about projects unless it just comes up organically. We're talking about how are you doing? You know, let's talk about you. What's, you know, what's going on? And I think it does also help that, I, again, I have the therapy training. So we kind of maybe turn it into a mini therapy session. Um, but if you're not comfortable with that, I totally also understand that you don't want to talk about that and you want to talk about projects. So let's talk about projects. It's not just about catering what, catering what that person needs at the present time to, to help them through their burnout, but recognize that it's not going to happen overnight.